Praise the Lord. Morning Manor, October 3rd, Faithful Light Givers. Let there be lights in the firmament to divide the day from the night, and let them be for signs, and for seasons, and for days, and years. Genesis 1, 14. On the first day God brought light. This is the light of the gospel of his grace. On the fourth day, the lights were positioned in proper places and their movement fixed. To become useful to the earth, we must remain in the high skies. Let us live a heavenly life. The lights, light givers in Hebrew, had to keep to their orbits. In case the sun, the moon and the stars moved freely without any regulations, the objects in space could collide, resulting in a universal disaster. God has similarly kept us as light givers in our respective places, to serve faithfully where he has kept us. Some of us could be like the sun, some like the moon and others like stars. Even the brightest sun has times when it is completely hidden to one part of the earth. Similarly, though you may be a great saint and the most bright and brilliant, there are times and seasons when you have to remain hidden, your light or usefulness may not appear to all the people all the time. However, let us be in the place ordained for us. Just as the lights that God has ordained serve us faithfully, let us also, as God's gospel lights, serve our God faithfully. May our usefulness be hidden in the seasons fixed by God. If we are where the Lord has kept us, we shall serve his purpose, to differentiate between the holy and the unholy, just as one differentiates the day from the night. Luke 21, 25. I'll stay where you've put me, I will, dear Lord. I'll bear the day's burden and heat. I'll till the dry soil while I wait for the rain. I'll work, and I'll rest at thy feet. Thank you very much for listening and for leaving feedback. Have a wonderful day. Have a day of being upheld by God's love. Subscribe and press the bell icon below for more biblical creatives. Your subscription and share may bring blessings to many.